Hi, I'm Pharaoh King, and you are too thin to the movement. That XYZ! So, my friends, I have a conversation for you. We're gonna get it in this conversation. We're going to be talking about the 20,000 satellites that's circling our globe. Can I say that? Because I know some flat earthers may flip out, but you know, to each their own, you know, whether the world is round or flat, I don't care. Everything's debatable. And um, the other half of this, we're going to be talking about what I believe to be an alien monarch. So, um, first of all, let's go ahead and get into this 20,000 or more satellites that's circling our wonderful world that I could never figure out. How do we have a space station that's never pounded or bombarded by 20,000 large satellites? So, not just that, but the space debris, if we are in space, which... I believe they are in lower orbit. I mean, you can't convince me enough that they are in space without no stars, bro. Dude, where are the stars? You can't tell me that I could go to a place where there's no lights and I could look up and suddenly see thousands of stars and you're in space with the best view in the entire world and it's pitch black. You want me to believe that when you're in space, that the sky is pitch black. Meanwhile, we supposedly go to the moon, leave the moon, right? The lunar, right? Leaves the moon. I think it was the lunar. I'm not sure. But the pod, whatever. Leaves the moon and the camera pans up. What I want to know who did we leave on the moon to get this great shot of Americans leaving the moon? So you're telling me they did this by remote control? Really? You had a remote control filming you guys leaving the moon? I'm, I just want to know the truth because it don't make sense to me. I didn't even see no jet propulsion. I guess they left the moon with just with air combustion coming out the bottom. This, it's drifting off into space and they made it all the way back to Earth somehow. I mean, I guess it's possible. It's debatable. I'm not an astronaut. These guys were there. I wasn't. I don't know. Right? I'm just saying, basically, how is it that we have a space station, an international one on top of that? And there's so many thousands of satellites, large satellites. And for some reason, this space station manages to move and maneuver out the way all the time. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, dude. Maybe. Okay? Now, the monarch. The blue bloods. They call themselves the blue bloods. Shapeshifters? Can we say that? I mean, has anybody ever wondered how has these people got into power? How? Who? Who are you? Tell us the truth, man. Because I don't understand this whole blue blood concept and a lot of people think that they're shapeshifters right i mean there's a story about you know the queen you know uh i don't want to go there because you know i don't want facebook to take me down again so ah fuck it you know there's a story about the queen basically uh kidnapping native native american children right that disappeared off this reservation i don't know if it was in canada or the states you guys should look it up and uh, that these children were never seen again. Did they eat them? I don't know. Was it adrenochrome that these people are seeking? I don't know. But this is the thing. We would never know. But you tell me, with all this strangeness in the world, could the monarchs, these kings and queens and these people of power, be shapeshifters? And if you are not thinking outside the box my friends then you will be stuck
Jack in the Box. He's gonna make America great.